Hi, Candy Flames here today with another Yankee Candle review and chit chat. And today we are talking about Tutti Fruity, which is a returning favourite. If you are new here today, then welcome. And if not, you will know that this is the fourth candle that I have reviewed from the returning favourites. These were released around springtime. I will link the other three reviews that I've done in the description. I've really enjoyed reviewing these returning favourites because obviously they've been voted back by popularity people have really loved these that's why they voted for them to come back again so i've really enjoyed it i mean some i've really loved and obviously some weren't all i'd hoped for but all in all i'm really pleased with the four candles and i can understand why they was voted back so we have yankee's description which is sugar candy aromas of cherry raspberry strawberry and lemon scent swirl together to create a whirly pop the notes, the top ones, are cherry, lemon and sugar. The mid notes are spicy rose, strawberry and the base notes are vanilla and raspberry sugar. Okay, so my thoughts and opinions. I love the colour wax and I love the label. I mean, look at that label, that bright, vibrant lollipop on there. What's not to love? But what I would really like, I can't stop thinking about it when I look at this candle. I would love the wax to be all swelled. Can you imagine like the yellow, green, blue and red wax in there all swelled? How good would that look? And I would definitely want that in my collection. So Yankee Candle, if you're listening out there, how about doing it as a limited edition? That would be really good. On a cold sniff, it's gorgeous. I can get it all. The cherry, the lemon, the strawberry and the raspberry that really does hit you. And that, you know, slight hint of spiciness. The rose and the creamy vanilla. I have to say it's not as sweet smelling as I thought it would be. Once lit, you can smell all of the notes, but I have to say the dominant notes for me are the cherry, the strawberry, the raspberry, and then that lemon. It just cuts through and it really does shine. It, it really does that lemon. This scent is, like I say, it's a warm one. It creates a warm and a cosy feeling, which really surprised me because I thought it would be light and sweet, but it's not. It's definitely, like I say, rich and warm. It performed well. I did have to foil it once to help it pull out completely. But other than that, I had no problems. The seasonal time of year with this candle, um, well, I think it's so versatile. I think you could use this spring, summer, but definitely autumn. And I think it would be great for Halloween. What with all the trick and treating and everything, I just think that this would be a really interesting one to light on Halloween. Okay, so let's talk throw. Well, the throw to me is medium. I would have liked it a bit stronger, but I feel I say that all the time, if I'm being honest, you know. But perhaps that's just me, as other reviews have said that they found it to be a strong throw. So that could just be me on that one. The family all liked it, but they did agree with me that they would have liked it to be a bit stronger. I think because out of the four, we was all waiting to light this one up. You know, we was all, oh, I can't wait to light this one up. And don't get me wrong, it, it's when I say it's a medium throw, it's really good. It does fill the room. I just always want a bit more. I think I love them so much. I just want them to be a bit stronger. This, by the way, is a large jar and this will burn for between 110 and 150 hours. So that's quite a lot of burn time. Like I say, it's a lovely fragrance and I imagine it what's, you know, it's what fills the air of the re uh, not restaurants, the shops and the factories where these are made. It's a great candle for the kitchen and probably the dining room, but you could obviously put this anywhere you wanted, living room, etc. Once the candle is out, though, I have to say that this one didn't really linger for long at all. Some do and some don't with Yankee. Um, it did stay around for a little bit, but it, it was gone pretty much, you know, within half an hour afterwards, you just could not smell it at all. Would I buy it again, though? Yes, I would. You know, like I say, I love the look of it, the label, the beautiful aroma, the atmosphere it creates. And I'm definitely going to try this out Halloween time. I think that's going to be really interesting then. I understand why this was brought back as a returning favourite. Um, I definitely do. And like I say, I've, I've enjoyed doing all these reviews. But that's it for this one. Next week, <laughs> weather permitting, I'm going to be up on the beach doing my next review. So that's it really today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps my little channel to grow and I hope you all have a fantastic week.